Hi, my name is John. I hope you're doing well. Hope everything's going well for you. Um, so this video is going to be a little bit different because I want to tell you and share with you my personal dream and my plan for the future. Very much my dream is going to, uh, my dream is to financially support my parents. Uh, long story short, my dad had diabetes, Parkinson, and is in his 80s. My mom just retired and both of them need my financial support. And I'm just turned 30. And as an eldest son, it's, they have sacrificed a lot for me. And I feel like as an eldest son, I want to take care of them during the end of their lives. And it's going to be a tough journey ahead. And I want to document my journey on how I financially support my parents. So why am I making this video? Why am I making it public to you and to everyone on the internet? The main reason is because I wanted to make it public so that it will become a must for me to make more money, earn more incomes, so that I could take care of my parents, take financially support my dad and financially support my mom during their old age. Take care of them financially with medical care, fi financial care, everything that if they want something, I could have the money to give to them. So let's talk about my dad's situation. In the past few years, uh, I was able to help him manage his diabetes very well. He went from injecting insulin every day to taking metformin, the pills. And overall, his health will be doing well even though he had diabetes for the past few decades. However, um, last year he was diagnosed, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. And we tried to have him take the Parkinson meds, but he was very adamant about not taking the meds because it didn't feel right for him. And it's tough because my dad said he's already old, he don't want to take the meds. And eventually his health declined and long story short, my mom's side of family, everyone is here, but my dad's side of family, everyone is in Vietnam. So my dad told me that he wanted to go back to Vietnam to spend his final day there with his family, my uncle and aunt, and eventually he wanted to bury next to his mom, my grandma. To fulfill his final wish, I took two weeks off from work, uh, took him back to Vietnam, settled his living situation there. My uncle, He would live with my uncle and aunt, and every month had sent money over there to uh, for them to take care of my dad for his living expenses. So that is a general uh, gist of my dad's living situation, and which is why I need to make more money. So for his living expenses, his medical care, because eventually with his Parkinson, he will it will get worse, and he might need to be in a like a nursing home when my uncle cannot take care of him anymore. So that will cost some money. So I need to make more money. For my mom, she just retired this year, and she doesn't have any retirement fund for her retirement. She came. Uh, she immigrated over here with us. And she started up working at a nail salon, just trying to live paycheck by paycheck. All her money, her all her income was spent on us, my little brother and I, and all the daily expenses. My dad didn't come over until later, so she was pretty much the head of the household. A single mom raising two kids in Orange County, California. It was tough for her. So like, she didn't know about traditional Roth RA or 401k, anything like that. So all, any money that come in, it can be spent for us, living expensive money from my brother and I. And now she retired, even though she, technically she does have affordable housing subsidy and SSI. I feel like as an eldest son, with all her sacrifices, I should able to do something for her during her retirement, make sure she's taken well taken care of to express my gratitude for all the years as, and all the sacrifices that she did for my little, bro my little brother and I. And 
this is one reason why that drive me to be more responsible, more work harder to earn more money so I could eventually buy her her house for her to settle in and live and taking care of her at when she gets older, when she cannot move around. And that's my dream. To sum it up, I need to make more money. Right now, I make about $50,000 a year for my 9-to-5 job. With stock and everything else, if I get lucky, I may be able to earn maybe five to 10000 more extra. But my plan right now, or my strategy for next year, from now to next year, is to create additional income stream. So working 9-to-5 job, earning $50,000 a year, on top of that, I will focus more on my YouTube channel and eventually create more content video and build a brand for, my, uh, for myself. Eventually uh, earn money from AdSense and sponsorship and create video content that is valuable to you, the uh, viewers that's watching right now. That's my second income. The third income will be um, me trying to learn more about online business and as a side hustle because eventually I want to create an, a business where I where I could earn money beside my 9 to 5 job because eventually I want to travel the world with my mom and my little brother and working 9 to 5 job is not possible like for example this year I, try, I had to take my dad da uh, to Vietnam because he want to go uh, retire there and I could only uh, get about less than two weeks because I don't have no PTO. So to sum it up, by next year, I must have three type of income. My nine to five job, my YouTube channel, and an online business by the end of next year. This is a must for me. As Gary V say, document over create. And this is why I'm documenting this period of my life right now. Right now is a period of pain, struggle, and I believe that in the future, three to five years from now, I will be a different person because I will put my head down and work hard, be resourceful, put myself out there, create a brand of, of myself, and I believe that five years from now, it, I will be a different person. I will be able to financially support my parents. I believe that I will be able to buy my mom a house for her to live in. And thank, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening for uh, me sharing my story. And I hope that my story will inspire you and that will motivate you to create a better future for yourself and for your loved ones. If this video resonates with you, please like and subscribe on this channel. I want to talk more about my struggle, my personal experiences, my mistake on the journey to financial freedom and able to financially support my parents. And I hope that this video and my channel will create will bring values to you and maybe you can learn something from my experience my mistake and you will be able to better yourself and create a better future for yourself and your loved ones well i hope to see you on the next video let me know in the comment down below if you want me to talk more about any topic related to finance and about financial independence uh, the journey to financial freedom, the struggle with budgeting, money, anything related to finance, let me know. I will create more videos about that. Well, take care of yourself. I hope you have a good day. And take care of yourself and your loved ones. And I will see you again on the next video. Bye.